Hey friends, it's Holly and welcome to Living It Country. Today we have another amazing home tour that we get to share today and it's of my friend Cassie from Georgia Girl Vintage Decor on Instagram. She shares salvage decor, styling, DIY projects, and so much more. So you guys are gonna definitely want to check her out in the description box below and follow her. So today we get to visit her home, get so much inspiration from her. So make sure you guys join us for today's tour. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys, Cassie from Georgia Girl Vintage Decor. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Holly for inviting me to join the tour. I'm so excited to share my home with you guys. Um, I love doing home decor and DIYs on a budget. So as we go through my uh, tour, you'll notice that I'll point out a lot of DIY projects that I have done over the past few years. And if you're interested in finding out how I did those DIYs, you can check out my Instagram um, and check out my highlight bubbles. And I pretty much saved all of my projects there for uh, reference. So uh, I hope you'll check out my page and I hope you enjoy my tour. We're gonna start our tour today in my kitchen. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite little corners. Um, I picked up this antique cabinet and I stripped it down to the natural wood and it now serves as our pantry and I actually love how it looks. I store a bunch of my crocs up here. I love to collect antique crocs. They make great planners. And then this over here is just a sideboard that I had. And then I built this little hutch to go on top to hold all my ironstone and jadeite. I used some beadboard to uh, give it that vintage feel. Then over here we have another china cabinet, which I store more of my ironstone. I have a slight obsession. Let me spin you around. Our kitchen is actually one of the next projects on our to-do list. We will be doing a full gut and remodel. But uh, some of the projects I've done in here, we painted the cabinets, I built the bar, um, built our little hood vent here, which I love. And this piece will definitely be staying when we remodel. Um, this is a, I guess just a, a vintage old, I think it was a workman's table um, from the looks of it, but I'll be refinishing the top of that to turn, make it uh, beautiful again, but this will be one of the focal points of our new kitchen. We need a new fridge too. Hopefully I'll get a vintage one. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head out of the kitchen and into my little dining nook here. The dining room actually used to be in the kitchen and I decided to move it out here so we had more space in our kitchen. And this works fine for us. This dining table is actually another project of mine. I built this um, from some old heart pine. Also built these um, sliding shutters. They were actually one of the first projects I ever did. Over here in my little kind of entryway, um, I also built this entryway table. I used some salvaged wood and some salvaged legs and built this little table for our entry. Along with actually these cubbies, I actually built those also. It's the hallway down towards the bedroom, some of our bedrooms. living room area. Mr. Bandit's taking a nap on the couch. I 
I love our fireplace. I love how it has the two windows on each side. I actually did the wood paneling behind the fireplace and painted the hearth. Did stencil pattern on the tile. And over here we have my little plant corner, which I love. I love having live plants in my home. Our massive TV would like to find a nice vintage cabinet to put it in one day. Mm, this is another one of my favorite antique pieces. I picked this up at Vintage Pick in this past um, spring. It's a great piece. We can see the dining area a little better this way. This chair I picked up, I'm going to um, hopefully do a deconstructed chair project on it. All right, now we're gonna head into the master bedroom. Now this room we have done quite a few projects in here. So first of all, uh, we put up the brick wall, the faux brick wall, and I did a German schmear effect on it. And it turned out so pretty. Then I also built the headboard. Um, this is actually a salvaged piece of dental molding off an old home. And I found it at a salvage warehouse. And then when I saw it, I knew it would make the perfect headboard. So I actually built this headboard for that piece. I love how that turned out. And then over here we have some sliding double doors. The doors on the left go into our closet and the doors on the right go into our master bath. These were another DIY project. I looked for a long time for, mat for matching doors because I wanted them to slide open like that. And it is almost impossible to find four matching doors, so I decided, you know what, I'll just build them myself. So those were a fun project. And I actually think they turned out pretty good. Spin around to the other side. These are two of our cats. Um, the calico back there is Jelly. And this is Biscuit. And this is the other side of the room. My little dressing table. Um, this actually has a very special place in my heart. A good friend of mine gave this to me a couple of years before she um, passed away. So I will always cherish it. And then this is our dresser. And our armoire. These are actually two pieces I would love to replace. I may try to refinish them and do something, but I would like a little more vintage -y furniture.
Okay, now we're gonna check out our master bathroom. The master bath was the last remodel we we did. It was a pretty much a full gut job, and it took us about four months to complete due to some um, stuff we ran into, but. It is actually one of my favorite rooms in the hall. We have these beautiful double vanities, double sinks, I should say. Uh, the vanity was actually another project of mine. I recycled some old vanities I had, and then I built the drawer in the middle and refaced it all to look like one unit. little tour of my home. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again, Holly, for this opportunity. A big thank you to Cassie for opening up her gorgeous home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration. And if you guys like these home tours, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of our videos. We love sharing home tours, DIY projects in our home, as well as home decor hauls. So if that sounds good to you guys, I will see you guys in the next video and have a wonderful day. Bye.